Hello everybody and welcome back or welcome if you are new here. It has been a long time since I have done a mail art video and I wish I could say it was for a good reason but honestly my life just was chaos. <laughs> um, October was super busy. As you guys know, my Octobers are always like crazy, crazy busy for me. And November, we had a lot of illness. Um, and um, it took a long time to kind of recover from an entire house getting sick. And then um, we had a lot of other stuff going on. And then of course, December, again, is a crazy busy month with lots of family activities. And my dad and my sister were in for half of the month nearly. So we were doing all the fun things with them and spending as much time with them. And I didn't have access to my office. So I just got really behind on everything. All of my personal time was taken up and now that we are in the new year, I am trying desperately to get back on the swing of my normal routine or reestablish new habits. I definitely have struggled with this, <laughs> particularly. Um, my list making is not really working out. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if I'm just in a weird mental headspace and I'm just not interested in anything right now or if it's just because I'm overwhelmed and I don't know where to start. But I figured I would start by doing some mail art. I always feel good about doing this. I always enjoy the process and it needs to get done because I have lots of letters I have to reply to. So it's just a, a no brainer for me to be able to be able to film um, something creative, have that creative time for myself, but also end up with something that I need to do anyway, which is make pretty envelopes to send my letters out. So I am using the um, kit from Your Creative Studio. This is the book themed kit. I believe it was September or October's kit. I think October might actually have been the baking theme. Um, but it was labeled number 10 book. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, but I really liked this kit a lot. I connected with it immediately. Um, I really like all the paper elements. There was a lot, a lot, a lot of paper in this particular kit, which I really loved, but it did make it difficult when it came to having other smaller bits of ephemera to use. So I ended up having to pull a couple things from my personal stash in order to make things sort of be cohesive. There were some stickers and some washi tape that I didn't actually have for the video because I had them in another part of the house for um, decorating my letter paper for the letters that I'm trying desperately to get caught up on. Um, so I didn't have those elements, which probably would have helped out a little bit, but I couldn't have been bothered to stop and figure that out. <laughs> so I used what I had on hand and here we are. All that being said, I hope that you're all doing well. I hope the start of the new year has really gone easy on you. Uh, I definitely feel like it has for us. We haven't had any illness since November, which thanks be to God for that because holy moly, when an entire house of six goes down and you are the only one that doesn't typically get sick, um, it all lands on me and that can be really exhausting. But here we are, we have made it through the new year and I'm super, super excited. I've got a lot to catch up on, mainly my Etsy shop. I have probably a hundred listings or so that I need to get done and it has been a roadblock for me since probably October. <laughs> um, yeah, it's really overwhelming and I have a lot to do and I just have to find the right headspace to get it all done. So we'll see how it goes. Uh, one thing at a time and I'm sure eventually we'll get there. But other than that, yeah, everything is going really well. Clara is thriving in school right now. She has her first daddy-daughter dance this Friday, which I could not be more excited for. Timothy is also just as excited for that as well. It's his first. He never thought he would have this um, opportunity, so he is equally excited and cannot wait to do this with her. Cullen is doing well in school too. He's definitely regressing a little bit. His teacher this year isn't as strict as the one he had last year, so he's definitely starting to notice and take advantage of her in that way. And my older two boys, Hunter and Emmett, are both doing really well in school. I just got their report card and they're doing really well. I was quite impressed with their grades. Um, I'm really impressed with their behavior. Hunter has had a little bit of 
issue with, um, not, I wouldn't even say behavior because his behavior is fine, but I definitely think he's struggling with his emotions and hormones and that's leading him, um, to make some poor decisions because he's being led by hormones and emotions and sometimes that can get you in trouble, but we're learning. It's a learning process and we'll get there when we get there. <laughs> So for this particular piece, I haven't really talked about what I've been doing, but I really didn't want to disturb that beautiful dried flower in the envelope. So I took my hole punch and decided to punch out a little hole rather than rip it because I felt like I could lose control and the hole could end up looking like I didn't want it to look. And the way I ripped it actually perfectly aligned with the paper that was already there. I did not do that. That was completely accidental and I love the way that it looks. And I love that that live flower was saved in the process. Um, and I've been uh, using the ledger papers that come in the kit to sort of create mailing labels because these decorative papers can be a little bit busy and as beautiful as they are, um, it can be really difficult to see the address for our fellow posties. So we definitely want to make sure that they can read and deliver everything properly. And then I'm going to add in some last minute book spine stickers to the M. Um, so a couple of the envelopes just to sort of help it. I felt like it was definitely missing something and decided to add some of these book stickers to give that last little piece it needed. So other than that, I hope that you guys are all doing well. I hope that you have enjoyed the start of the new year. I hope that you have really fun plans. I would love to hear your plans for the new year. If you have a word of the year or if you would just have a plan for the year that you want to turn um, into reality, I would love, love, love to hear about it. Um, but yeah, other than that, just getting caught up on life. <laughs> I'm bringing it everything in a little bit closer so that you can see some of those details, even though my view was pretty close up today. Um, but I hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really enjoyed this process and getting back into my normal routine. If you're new here and not a subscriber, make sure that you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos and I will catch you guys later. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. Bye!